Hey guys, this is Blake, and in today's video, I have 1,000 terrorized Travancore runs for you. Now, a disclaimer right off the bat, uh, I did this on single player with player three settings and 267% magic find, and in order to do 1,000 terrorized runs in the same location, I had to change the time on my clock, this is something you can only do in single player, change the time on my computer clock so that it would force the terror the terrorized zone to continue to run. So if you look up in the top right hand corner, not at this moment, but throughout the clips, you'll notice the time is always between 4 p.m. and 5 p.m. That is not indicative of the real time. That is just the time that I would set the clock so that I could force the Travancore to stay terrorized. The reason I'm forcing zones to stay terrorized by changing the clock is so that I can test the different areas to see which terrorized zones are best to spend your one hour in if you're playing on Battle.net or whatever. It's not about, uh, I understand some people will view this as cheating and I, I thought the same thing whenever I started doing it. Um, but, you know, I'm probably gonna start over within a few weeks or months and <laughs> maybe next time I won't do it that way. Maybe next time I'll have the knowledge of where to farm whenever it's available. Something that's important to know is that I did these runs starting at level 84 and I ended at level 92. Now, it wasn't until 583 runs in that I hit level 91, and that is when the TC87 items started dropping like crazy, a non-stop. Before that, I only found four or five TC87 items the whole way up until run 583. And you will see in the clips, I found a ton after that. I, I am convinced now that level 91 is the level you need to reach if you want to get the best TC87 drops that you can possibly get. It's a tremendous difference. I, I, it is a night and day change as soon as I hit level 91. Um, I will be showing you TC87 clips throughout the video just so you can get an idea of how frequently they drop. Um, you'll notice, yep, they all start right after after run 583 when I turned to level 91. Um, I will be pointing out I found six different unique TC87 items, which you'll be seeing throughout the video. And yeah, I found some runes and stuff too. So it, it, it went pretty well. It was a good thousand runs. All right, let's get started with those clips, starting in three, two, one. Here we are on run number 75, and this is the first run I found something notable. Real nice, actually. It's a rainbow facet, and sorry, you gotta bear with me. I'm using a hammered in, and I don't have Enigma yet, so I'm doing this very slowly. <laughs> I can't carry anymore. And our rainbow facet is a perfect lightning facet. Very nice, very nice. Run number 111, little Paul rune. It's a start. Hopefully we get some better runes here soon. Here at run 150, we have a 1 to combat skills for paladins and 14 to life. It's a nice grand charm. Here on run number 162, real exciting drop. Yes, a Sir Rune. I was so happy the night I found this. It just... <laughs> I, I did um, over 1,500 lower Kuros runs before this, and I didn't find a single high rune. Not one. And... <laughs> It, it pissed me off to be honest and this is what I needed when I found it uh, 162 runs in I mean you can do a lot more and find a lot less for sure here in run number 168 we have a mal rune or mal rune however you want to pronounce it I don't care
In this run, we have a Reaper's Toll. Nice little score. We have a rainbow facet again. There's going to be quite a few of these. And it's 5 4 fire facet. Not too bad. This run, number 232, we have a plus one summoning skills for Necromancer and 12 to life Grand Charm. That's pretty nice. And an Ist rune, yes. Nice mid rune. Here on run 375, we have an arachnid mesh. Oh yeah. Another rainbow facet here on run number 455. And it's perfect cold facet. Nice. And a run number 507 one of these grand charms it is a plus one summoning skills for druid and it also gives four to maximum damage not too bad run number 544 we have another rainbow facet what's this one gonna be by four cold. Okay, another cold one. And another rainbow facet on run number 551. And this one is poison facet, 5 4. That's nice. I actually need that because I, uh, started a poison nova necro right after finding my death's web and i love him and i need more of these so this is great all right now at run number 583 is whenever i hit level 91 and when all the tc87s started dropping you'll notice from here on out tc87 non-stop uh, we have shadow dancers here unique uh boots that are TC 87 and this is just the beginning like I said you'll see if you I, I, I've been shocked when I turned level 91 everything changed they just started dropping non-stop this magic diadem on the ground is the first diadem I've seen yet there's gonna be a lot more now that I'm level 91 Uh, up above here, you can see the magic sacred armor TC87 drop. Look at that. Yes. <laughs> that made me so happy when I found that. Because I still, since I reset my all my characters, I restarted from scratch uh, two, three months ago, I have not had a fortitude or made a fortitude yet. So 
that's what I'm about to go do now that we have this low rune. And now I don't have to save the the ohm rune I've been saving to cube into a low anymore. So that means I can also make a CTA. So let's go let's go roll those real quick and I'll let you guys see. So this Scarab Husk only has 709 defense, but it's the best I've got. So we're just going to do it. Here we go. And fortitude. And it rolled 29 all resistances. That's great. Happy about that. And let's see. Uh, get ready to make the CTA. I have only had one CTA this entire time with two to battle orders. So, you know, I got a 66% chance of rolling better here. Let's see how I ended up doing. Six battle command, five battle orders. That's awesome. Six, five, two. I would love if it was the five and six were reversed. Not just because, I mean, I would rather, I'd rather have five to battle command than six to battle command because I want the battle orders to be one level higher. That way I can see the battle command wear off to give me a warning that my battle orders is about to wear off. So yeah, my ideal CTA would be a five, six, not a six, six, but that's just me. Between finding that low rune and then a couple minutes later rolling this CTA, that was just, ah, oh, I was, <laughs> that was a great night. <laughs> Here in run number 676, we just have a uh, Magic Blood Lord Skull on the ground, another TC87 item. And if you look above, you'll see a Magic Berserker Axe, another TC87 item to note. Uh, I didn't highlight it here. Oh, there I go. Highlighting it now. In this clip, I'm just pointing out the Magic Mythical Sword, another TC-87 item on the ground there. Run 707. What am I going to find this run? Just wait for it. Boom. <laughs> Griffin's Eye. This is the fifth one I found in a month. Uh, <laughs> and let's see how it rolled. And it rolled completely horrible, but I don't care. I'm just glad that I found another one because it's, it's a sign that you can find them here and that, you know, there's more places to farm for great TC87 items than just... Uh, just the uh, catacombs that I had pointed out. In this run, I'm just pointing out this Colossus Girdle. It's a uh, another TC87 item. Every time it lands on the TC87 category, it could, you know, roll a Griffin's Eye or, or a Crown of the Ages or who knows. So it does matter every time it rolls. This run, I'm just pointing out the rare Sacred Armor on the ground, another TC87 item. And this clip, I'm pointing out the uh, Colossus Blade, another TC-87. This is something my mercenary is about to find, killing one of them guys on the side there. Oh, look, it just popped up. You see it? Boom! <laughs> Vex Rune. From 751, we have a set sacred armor. That is Immortal King's sacred armor. Another TC 87. In this clip, we have a Vortex Shield, rare on the ground, which is a TC-87. And we also have rare Myrmidon Greaves, assuming I'm pronouncing that right. Two more TC-87s in one run. Here at run 757, we have a Magic Hydra Bow on the ground, another TC-87. Here on run 764, we have a 
set Colossus blade. It's full cathodes. Just another TC-87 to point out. Run number 787. We have a unique glorious axe. This is our second unique TC-87 item. And we still have four more unique TC-87s to go. What will they be? This glorious axe. To be honest, I don't know if I've ever found this thing before or not. <laughs> but uh, we're going to identify it here. It is the Executioner's Justice. It's pretty interesting to look at. <laughs> number 815. What's it going to be? And it's Talrasha's Adjudication. Yes, of course. This is just another rare Vortex Shield. Another TC-87 to point out. Number 829. We have a Talrasha's Guardianship. And I actually found another one of these later on. And I didn't save the clip. I'm not too concerned with these myself. But... I know some people will care to see that I found it. Here on run number 831, just pointing out the rare diadem, another TC-87, and it also tried to rule for a Griffins before it ruled to be a uh, rare. So, yeah, there's been a lot of them here. This is a good spot to find Griffins. If you want to find high runes and Griffins, this is, I, this is the best place I know of. <laughs> We have a Magic Winged Harpoon, which is another TC-87 item. And if you look down at my mercenary, he's about to find something for me. There we go, an Eldritch Orb. Let's shoot his temper. Let's go check it out. Oh, you know what? When I was recording this, I didn't actually see it when it happened. I noticed it right before I left the game. <laughs> so we got to wait for me to notice. Sorry. Oh, oh there it is. Mm. And, <laughs> yeah, it's got the plus three to skills, and the lightning's decent on it, so yeah, it's not bad. I don't think I'll use it, but, yeah. If I did, I would put a uh, perfect lightning facet in it. That'd be the only way I'd want to use it. Here I'm just pointing out the rare sacred armor that I have my cursor over. Uh, another TC-87. We're on 863, Unique Ogre Gauntlets, Steel Rent. Those are TC-87 as well. That's the third unique TC-87 item I have found. And just in a second here, we'll see how it rolled. Uh, the enhanced damage can range between 30 and 60. I got 45 dead in the middle. Uh, the strength can be between 15 and 25, and so I got the worst I could get there uh, overall below average but very nice find still now run 864 pointing out the magic corona and the magic legend spike two TC 87s in one run here on run number 883 we have a magic diadem on the ground another uh, TC 87 that could have ruled to have been Griffins here we have another magic Colossus girdle another TC 87 it's been eight runs since the last magic diadem, and now we have another magic diadem. Run number 892, we have a magic guardian crown, a TC-87 item. Run number 900, we have a magic dimensional shard on the ground, another TC-87. Run number 906, a rare colossus blade, another TC-87. Run number 924, got a Magic Corona, another TC-87. Run number 927, we have a Magic Giant Thresher, another TC-87 item. Run number 928, we have a unique Giant Thresher, that is Stormspire, and that is our fourth unique TC-87 of the video. We still have two more to go. Yeah, it's pretty junky, I know. 
Run number 934, just another uh, Magic Winged Harpoon TC87. Run 948, uh, Magic Colossus Blade, another TC87. Here on run number 953, got a repeat. That's a nice one. Another Arachnid Mesh, two of them. Very nice. Run number 957, we have a rare diadem, which isn't anything good, but it's a TC-87. And, well, it's got the dual leech, two to combat skills, kind of interesting, but eh. Um, and up above, we have a magic dimensional shard, another TC-87, two from one run, very nice. The numbers here are just really support finding whatever you're looking for in the TC-87 category. Run number 961. We have a unique Warpike, which just happens to be another TC-87, and it's our fifth one, fifth unique TC-87 of the video, with one more to go. Run number 962, just a uh, rare Thunder Maul, another TC-87 item to show real quick. Run number 968, Rare Mythical Sword on the Ground, TC-87. Run 971, Rare Corona, TC-87, could have been a Crown of Ages. This one, we have three TC-87s. This is the first time I've seen an unearthed wand, and it's rare. It could have, yeah, it was almost a death's web. Um, yeah, first unearthed wand I found here. We have also a Colossus Blade and a Corona that are both magic. So that's three TC-87 items from one run. Very nice. Here on run number 979, we have another magic diadem, another chance to rule for griffins. This is a great spot to try to find griffins. Uh, here I'm just pointing out the Hydra bow that could have been a wind force. Another TC-87. This is the last clip I have for you. Uh, let's see if you can guess what I'm about to find. Here's your clue. It's something that everybody wants to find at Ladder Reset. That's right, Harlequin's Crest Shaco. If you were thinking something else, put it in the comments. Let me know what you were thinking. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit those like and subscribe buttons. Uh, if there's any terrorized zones you want me to explore to figure out, you know, what the drops are like there, let me know in the comments. I don't know that I'll get to it or not. Uh, for a while now, I'm going to be farming for until I have Enigma. I still need everything. I need Jawbur and a base. <laughs> um, <laughs> I got the Ith rune. I, you know, I, I, I got, I put in some of the legwork, but. Um, I gotta stay here. I gotta. I gotta stay somewhere where I can get runes for a while, and I think this is a good spot. Plus, I want to see. I think I should make another video where I do a thousand runs, where I'm already at least 90, level 91 throughout the entire video, so we can see. You know, maybe I'll get. I think I'll get at least one more Griffins, but you know, maybe I'll get two more, and yeah, it could be. There, who knows? There, a lot of things could happen. Anyways, till next time, guys, keep grinding. Now, I don't think the catchphrase thing is for me. I, I, I think I'm just going to say bye or peace. <laughs> Later. <laughs>